Welcome to the first episode of the Coding Specs Python tutorial series. In today's video we will learn how to install Anaconda. Anaconda is a Python distribution platform that contains all the necessary features to allow you to start coding in no time. Its main components are its Python developer called Spider and its Python notebook editor called Jupyter Notebook. We will be using both Spider and Jupyter Notebook throughout this series, so make sure to follow the installation guide closely to correctly configure your setup. We will complete the Anaconda installation process in three easy steps. First, we will download the installer, then we will run it on our computer, and finally we will configure Spider. As the first step, open your browser and navigate to anaconda.com. Then hover over the Products tab and select Individual Edition. Then click on the Download button, which will take you further down the page, where you can find many Anaconda installers. There are versions for Windows, macOS and Linux. In my case, I'm running a 64-bit Windows 10 operating system and I will therefore download the 64-bit graphical installer for Windows. Click on your selected installer to download the correct file. We have now successfully completed step one of our Anaconda install, so on to step number two. Once the Anaconda installer has finished downloading, Navigate to your Downloads folder or wherever you've downloaded the file and double click on it to open the installer. This will open the setup wizard and which will allow you in a few simple steps to install Anaconda and all its dependencies. First click on Next, then Agree to the license, select Just Me to install only for yourself, then select the destination folder, in this case I'm fine with leaving it as the default, and make sure that you have at least the amount of space required. In my case it is 2.7 gigabytes, but this could change depending on the version you are installing. Click on Register Anaconda as my default Python 3.8, and if this is the first time installing Anaconda, also select the first option. In my case, this is not the first time, so I will leave it unchecked. Then click on Install and allow the program to install completely. Once it has completed, click on Next and then on Next again. And then you can unclick both of these and then click on Finish. Step 2 of our 3 step process is now done, so let's finish off by configuring Spider. Now, in your start menu, you should have a folder called Anaconda 3 64 bit, or 32 bit if you have installed a 32 bit version of Anaconda. Open it and click on Spider Anaconda 3. Once Spider has loaded, you should have this view. In order to correctly configure Spider, go on to Tools and select Preferences. Once the Preferences window has appeared, select General and go into Advanced Settings. Deselect all of the top options and select Show CPU Usage every 2000 milliseconds if you like to see how much of your CPU is being used at any given time. After having done this, go to IPython Console, Graphics, Backend, and select Automatic. This will allow you to plot figures in a separate window later on in the tutorials. Lastly, go into Appearance and select a light interface, as well as a spider syntax highlighting theme. Please bear in mind that this is not necessary, 
if you prefer to have a dark colour scheme in your editor. Once you have done this, click on Apply. Then click on Yes to restart Spider. Congratulations, you have now successfully completed the Spider configuration. The left column is where we will write our code, while the output can be seen in the bottom right. The top right box will actually not be required for this tutorial series, so we can close it by clicking on the hamburger menu in the top right hand corner and selecting Close. Please bear in mind that in some cases you may have to do this multiple times. The third step in our Anaconda installation process is now complete and we are set up to code. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. We will begin learning the basics in the next episode, so stay tuned and in the meantime make sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any upcoming videos.